we have discussed that there's a way for women to find the I don't know how to put this the the pH levels of yeah. their vagina is that yes. how I should say it? That's exactly right. <laughs> yes. Good. Let's have a look at the the self test kit and just show me how it works and how do I know if I'm if it's the the level is too high if it's too low yeah. if I should worry if I shouldn't worry. Okay, cool. So this is commercially available. See, it's called Femina and um, you basically buy it off the shelf. Yeah. You don't have to get a doctor's prescription for it or anything. Yeah. And um, there, there are two in the pack. Mm -hmm. So you just open it. Don't throw away this because you're going to need the color strip to I see. test. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then you just take this and you put it into your vagina as if it's a tampon, mm. more or less, but not as deep because you're going to keep your fingers on that part. I see. Um, um, it uh, is corrugated like that, so that's how you know this is where you hold yeah. it. And <laughs> then you basically just go into the vagina, mm. you swirl it around a little bit in there, keep it in there for a while. If you have a discharge, it will just go straight onto that easily mm. anyway. If you're very dry, it might be a little bit more difficult to actually get vaginal fluid to get onto that part yeah. of the of the test strip. I see. So. Um, then you um, take it out and that's it it colors uh, uh, immediately yeah and then you've got your control paper here so um if it is this greenish color then it is normal and the more blue it becomes the higher the ph is oh, in see, other yeah. words the higher the likelihood is that you could have bv this this is not a test for bacteria this does not tell you that you have abnormal bacteria. Mm -hmm. It tells you that you probably have too little lactobacilli, mm -hmm. that your lactobacilli are not doing its job producing enough acid. Yeah. And the environment is now such that a bacteria might overgrow. Okay. Okay, so this is not a STD test. <laughs> okay, got okay. it. <laughs> Doing this and finding this as normal, yeah. you can still have syphilis, hepatitis B, gonorrhea, mm. HPV, anything you can imagine. This is just telling you the pH and if the pH is high, the most, most likely cause for that is yeah. BV. Okay, got it. Okay. Seems like an easy test. Yeah, I think it's great. You know, I really think that this thing is going to put the power into women's hands yeah. to um, look for the infections themselves and go to the doctor and tell them, I really think I've got BV. Yeah. Because patients come in here and they say they've got a discharge and I have to go, okay, is it normal? Is it candida? Is it BV? And really, mm. if you look at the research, if you ask 100 doctors like me, look at these 100 patients, the doctors are really not good at telling you who are healthy and um, who's having an infection by just looking at their yeah, discharge. Yeah. It, it is very difficult to tell. Okay. And that's the reason why I think these new pH uh, sticks that are on the market are great. Because I will tell a woman, listen, your chances of this coming back is 60%. Yeah. Now she needs to pay me again to come in to see me. She needs to pay for the examination. And if I do a proper evaluation, it's 2,000 Rand just for the lab. Mm. Never mind the consultation. Um, now she can get herself some of these sticks at home, test herself and see. No, my balance is normal. Yeah. I don't need treatment or my balance is out. I should probably take another round of the treatment.